Hey Ed, um, so I'm gonna go over some of the picking patterns for uh, the boxer. Uh, it's pretty tricky. <laughs> like I said, um, Paul Simon's actually a very great guitar player. Um, really into like the finger style stuff. So um, we'll we'll do what we can with this one. Um, like he's got this thing going on the C chord. And it kind of it starts changing it up once it gets to the G chord. So for the, the first part, I think all I'm going to get through today um, is the C chord. So you'll need to know the C. You'll know, need to know this uh, A minor. And then this G chord. And he's going to be playing this G like this. And you'll see why in a bit. Normally you would play like this. But we're going to use our pinky. Because later on he does it. A G7. You can hear. Sorry. Um, so, what you want, hopefully, I can get it a little bit closer. So, for the C chord, if you can get this action going, um, so I'm just holding a regular C, and what's happening with the thumb is going. So, fifth string, fourth string, sixth string, back to fourth. So what's happening here, I'm going thumb, and my, and my fingers are resting on the uh, second string and the third string. So I'm going to go thumb, uh, fifth string, second, and then fourth string, and then first string here. That's the pattern. So once you get this, then the alternating bass just kind of happens. Right? So just all on a C chord. There, I'm going. So I think it's okay. um, here on the A. This is where it starts to change a little bit. So it's not like I said before uh, last or yeah. When I saw you, I, I was saying it was doing. It's actually not doing that. It's doing a. Uh, Listen, I listen a little closer. We have that same pattern on the first one. Right? And we go open, open third string. Right? So, so I'm just taking my ring finger off of that A minor chord. And then this is where it gets tricky. <laughs> um, so uh, on the G chord, he's doing this. Uh, he's going. Right, so that's the first, the first bar. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so I'm just getting a regular G. Plucking the third and the fourth string, and then the high, the high string, and then hitting two, three, and four strings. Alright, back to the. That's how that first G chord goes, and then he does this. This is a repeating pattern here. This is what he does. He goes plucks on the on the low. I know it's hard to see. On the on the low, plucks that the high to the low and the high string. Uh, hits the open fourth string. It's the open open second string. Low string in. Right. 
right? So this is that pattern here. You want to get this under your fingers for this, especially for the G. So he starts doing this. That's where he does that G7. And that's similar to the pattern that we're doing here. Like I said, remember, if you just have that kind of alternating kind of pattern going on, you can get away with a lot. So, um, sorry, uh, and he goes to a high end. I have some tap, tapped out right here. A G7. If you've never played one of those, it's, you're just getting this first fret right here, and then you're doing the rest of the G. And then open. Right? It's tricky. That's that first G, so. Kind of tricky, so so it's tricky, but um, some of the some of the tabs out there are a little bit weird. So I have something here that might be helpful, but. It's a little bit trickier than I thought, but we'll, uh, we'll try our best.